now Lucas having to wrestle Dennis off the floor. He returned and took a little swipe at Lucas for pulling him away. Yeah. Technical foul. He is a foul. And Rodman is gone. Dennis He's gone. Rodman is second. And ejected. I think it's the first time this year that Dennis Rodman and he's now he's going trained by Longley. He's beat Milwaukee. Jordan scored lots of points. Whoa! Dennis Rodman was ejected. Same old story. I get so damn sick of hearing everybody saying, well, he does these these negative things. What all I do is go out there, have a good time, and feel good about myself, and uh, life goes on, no matter if they talk bad about you or not. And he says, in the heat of the moment, kicked a cam the cameraman, Eugene Amos, collapsed on the court for seven minutes before being taken to the hospital. By the next day, Amos had a lawyer, and Rodman faced the possibility of a year in jail. We're not going to be reinstating him until he assures us, and we're satisfied, that he can conduct himself in some way that doesn't put others at risk. Make his point, they're trying to grab him, and now he, he throws his jersey back on the court, very upset, will not leave. But right, Dennis better get moving, or there will be more repercussions. Water or something went flying. Dennis Rodman extremely well, now for the suspension. And he oh. just nailed us. Whoa. He nailed us over here. Holy cow. Okay, Dennis, you're suspended and for headbutting a referee and other nasty things. This year, though, a new team and sort of a new attitude, it seemed. Rodman averages close to 15 rebounds every game and a technical foul roughly every other game. David Johnson, David Robinson, in Steeler. drin in diesem Spiel. Es ist mal wieder ein Krimi. Robinson. Scheitert beim Flandern versucht. Doc Rivers. Airball. Und Foul von Rodman. Auf Wiedersehen. Nummer 6. Da sollten sich die Nuggets-Akteure jetzt zurückhalten und nicht noch auf Rodman losgehen. Jalen Rose, da der Rookie. Das sollte er lassen und Rodman sollte Während ja, er hier herzlich in die Arme genommen wird von Dick Bavetta, dem Schiedsrichter, es auch alles auf sich beruhen lassen und in aller Ruhe vom Feld marschieren. Da kann er jetzt eh nichts mehr dran ändern. Ja, hier der Schuss von Rivers und ja, da schiebt er kräftig und auch deutlich ersichtlich gegen Jalen Rose, Dennis Rodman. Ja, zwei Punkte, zehn Rebounds. Ich habe schon angesprochen für Dennis Rodman. Smith's trying to put it back, no, but a foul, and Shrimp and Lambeer have already grabbed one another, now Rodman steps in there, Jack Neese goes up to the hole and through, this is where it all happened, see, Devons came back, caught him in the face, Rodman hit him, now they're just going to be talking as they're going back and forth by Rodman. And these two have been going at it all game long, as Ronnie Nunn calls a foul on Dennis Rodman. Well, Rodman has the ability to be a postage stamp, and that's what I call his defense. He can stay jersey to jersey with you against a guy as, as quick as person. And look, there's not much room for him to go, and there it is again. And finally, you just have to get out of my... I haven't run a play for him yet. Dumars penetrating past the forming. And look out, we've got a... A near confrontation, but with the score at this kind of spread, 15 points, tempers cool quickly. Well, it, it Porter into the corner. Mitchell drives his head again, drops it, couldn't get it. Rebound Judd Bushler. Out to Michael. 
And Mitchell holding on to Dennis Rodman. was quickly broken up. Well, keep in mind now for Detroit, Dennis Rodman, as outstanding as Isaiah Thomas, Joe Dumas, Lambier, perhaps the technical foul call on... And Rush blows the whistle and has a John Sally foul. It's a really situation. Ah! Ashley Wallace, kriegt er keinen Foul, geblockt von Scotty Pitten. Und technisches gegen Dennis Watt. Der ist dann wieder blitzschnell da. Blockt. Vielleicht jetzt besser. Er hakelt ein bisschen mit Avidas Sabonis. Normalerweise kein Grund, ein technisches. No, I will be there, but you know Craig will for sure. That's Craig's invitation, by the way. Rodman got the technical. He is ejected. Well, he can get a head start. That's all right, Dennis. Don't let it spoil the parade. Well, let's see. He's going to walk right by the Nick bench. There's the word for Jeff Van Gundy. Here comes the jersey. Dennis trying to get the crowd fired up. He knows that there's a lot of work left to do. First half, Asura tries to kick it out. Dan Marley for three. Scotty right there takes it away. Michael running down the floor. Hands up. Uh oh, uh -oh. He gra uh, Cage grabbed him in the back, and Rodman says, "Wait, what's going on here?" They stopped the break. Michael going to the hoop. Scotty fired the ball down. They're going to give him a double. No, what are they going to do here? Yep, technical on both sides. Well, let's see what happened here. They go up for it, Scotty. Taps it. And you see he grabbed him. He grabbed yeah. Dennis, and Dennis upset about that. They stop a fast break. Scotty found Michael down the floor. And Dennis called for the retaliation after that. <laughs> now Dennis isn't going to let go. He will not let him go. Look at those arms wide. Should be a legal defense, but not. Marley. Barry and Rodman with a good oh, battle going on. Rodman chased him all over the gym. Now they're going to separate it here. Rodman just follows Danny Ferry as Ferry walks away. I've been coming around the screen and then it just didn't appreciate the elbow that he got. Wieder Sean Rooks. Beißt sich da richtig gut durch gegen Luke Longley. Und Dennis Rodman er hedert sich mit Tom Gugliotta, a la Karl Malone. Von den Schiedsrichtern wird ein Doppelfall gegeben. Die beiden haben sich schon die ganze Woche über hart bekämpft in Phoenix und jetzt auch in Los Angeles. Und da hat sich Tom Gugliotta wohl zu sehr beschwert über dieses Doppelfoul. Da kommt gleich ein technisches Foul hinterher. Das has been out of the league since the Lakers got tired of Rodman's antics last April, just 23 games after signing him. Rodman will make his debut at home Wednesday against Seattle. In fact, the worm is choosing to live with incoming Mavericks team owner Mark Cuban at his 4,000 square foot estate. 
Sounds like a party to me. Came out of the pick on Utah's John Stock and just throws him to the ground. That's a technical foul. I will say this. Later, Rodman gets tangled up underneath with longtime nemesis Carl Malone. A double foul is called. That sets off the worm. But Rodman was just getting started with his tantrums. Fourth quarter, he's whistled for what he felt was a phantom foul. And he gets in Malone's face, prompting a second technical foul, which got him ejected and on his way out of the arena. The fans fighting over his jersey, which he likes to hand out when he gets ejected. An ugly night all around for Dallas, which lost for the fifth. <laughs> C'était l'occasion de lui faire un in your face. Alors là, il dit, mais merde, c'est pas vrai. J'ai contré. Bon, le contre de Rodman. Troisième faute sifflée par l'arbitre. Injustement, à mon avis. Ah, il n'a peur de rien. Ce... La récupération Corbin en déséquilibre total. Oh, pas loin. Et finalement, on en restera là quand même. Et maintenant, Rodman... Le provocateur Oh là 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 là, il en fait trop Et quelle bagarre encore une fois dans la raquette des Jazz Entre Karl Malone cette fois et Dennis Rodman Attendez, moi j'ai bien vu une faute sur le bon... Now to Rivers in the corner, three-pointer, rebound Rodman, three-pointer person, he's been on a three-point slide, Rodman tangles with Williams underneath, they exchange words and Williams adds a shove and a technical, and he may have been tossed. Steve Javi seemed to indicate he was not only calling a technical, but maybe even throwing out Lorenzo Williams. Now let's remember already without Roy Parkley for this game. Now, Javi heads in the scores table. We'll find out the extent of the penalty. We got a double foul. Okay, double foul. Oh, double Williams foul. And okay, no team foul. The personal. Technical foul. I'm not Williams. sure the double tech, we'll the technical on, on Dennis Rodman. Since the ball was loose on a double foul, it'll be a jump ball at center court. All right? We well, got a double foul. Well, we got a double foul and the technical on Williams. Oh, 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 oh. Rodman gets his first. Williams gets his first. Dennis Rodman likes to use his hands defensively. You see the end of this. They were already locked up. It was Williams who really brought his, his elbow up into Dennis's chin. So Sean Elliott to shoot the technical. Well, he made two. Three throws the other night with 3.4 seconds. That's about as pressure packed as you can get in a regular season game. And we'll have a jump ball. I did almost first overtime. That's why he's not there. Rick Mahorn is a stiff back. He did not suit up. Cartwright. Vinnie Johnson the rebound, trying to cut the lead to five. Lane Beer does just that. Two in a row by Lane Beer. He's got ten. And a technical foul has been called against, uh, might be Dennis Rodman. And that's the second technical foul of the game called against Detroit. One against Chuck Daly and Dennis Rodman and Bill A. Beer. That makes three fouls, three technicals. Well, I guess he got called for a punching foul as well as a technical foul. You know, a play like that, and the official can make a decision and possibly throw a player out of the ball game. Tucker has missed two of those technical foul opportunities, and the Knicks are going to bring in Billy Donovan. Trying to take advantage of the... Fourteen on the shot clock for Detroit. Lane Beer's been hot from outside. Misses and Rodman. Second chance as Cartwright and Rodman hit the floor. They get tangled up. Oh. 
Mike Tyson in the throng today enjoying the game. Now, what did you say about Tyson? You I said he was a very nice person, a very <laughs> great fighter, and, uh, and that he will be my friend anytime he wants to be. Whittington, a lot of body, but some very foul. <laughs> now Dennis Rodman. Got to stick his nose into the middle of things, and the technical will be on Rodman. Now Wennington and Matumbo side by side. You know, it's interesting. <laughs> it's still interesting. <laughs> it's interesting. As you take a look at all the banging here. Now that Mr. Pippen Brown bump and out, rebound, Kutos back up, smothered by Dikembe. And a good foul, and Robbins got something else to say. Don't give him the layup. <laughs> of course, Robin can foul anybody he wants to, and it's fine. But when Matumbo gets physical, he's got to say something about it. <laughs> right, exactly right. On the deck, goes down the lane, up and off. Matumbo the tip, no. Rebound to Rodman. And we have a whistle. Stopping the clock with 57.2. The foul will come on Chucky Brown. That's that will be his second. Boy, ball would just not surrender. It's left in the shot clock. Dumars, another three-point effort. He has now made three of those tonight. Fifteen points in the quarter, 31 in the game for Joe Dumars. Well, that's just where you want him to take the shot. I mean, he was way out beyond the three-point line, and Rodman and Thompson got tangled up under the basket that time. The officials jumped in very quickly and got him separated before any could get going. And Bill Langer playing a little policeman there, too. Trying to calm down things this time. Yeah, well, this is a, this is a key time in the game for the Pistons. They've, got, they've gotten it going finally, and you... No, ostatnie sekundy. Rodman, Nigel Knight. I piłka dla <laughs> Rodman. Paul. No i jeszcze na dodatek to nie była chęć pomocy, tylko demonstrowania, że markował to przewinienie. AC Green udaje Rodman, że nic się nie stało. Zresztą za chwilę popatrzmy. O tak na granicy potknięcia znaczy, było, pot, jakby... Potknął się o swoje nogi, niewątpliwie AC Green, ale lekko pchnięty, pchnięty przypadkowo był, tak. zresztą przez Rodmana. Trzecie przewinienie Denisa Rodmana. Jest jego ogromna siła, daleko, z obwodu potrafi rzucić. I oto Denis Rodman za trzy punkty. Admin as in David and Dennis. Dennis Rodman is back from a shoulder injury that kept him out of 14 games. He didn't miss a beat against the Sacramento Kings Friday. Dennis in the white, grabbing the rebound, getting the break, star started Avery Johnson to Sean Elliott. Spurs by nine and in control, thanks to Rodman. However, that injury acted up and he left the game. Was it serious? No. This tough guy came right back and showed how tough he was, mixing it up with Olden Polonies, scrapping, scraping, and throwing each other around. No technicals. The game goes on, and Rodman goes on with the slam. Now watch Dennis again grab the rebound, take it up court. What do you do, big guy? Pass it to David Robinson, who slams. Robinson had 32 points, 16 rebounds. Rodman, 15 boards. Askew, partially blocked, I thought. Rodman bounced it. Whoa, we'll fire a ball. There's a tee, I think, if he can find it. He wanted the ball, and Rodman found him with it. And we'll take a timeout. Now Michael over talking to the official. He said we called a timeout. What's everybody doing on the court? Well, one somebody's supposed to shoot the free throw. Well, we'll take it, 241. This has been boiling all night long. It went back to the first quarter when Dennis Rodman and all...
so. Sean Kemp, we're going at it. Watch Kemp. He is keeping Rodman out of the paint. He will not allow Dennis Rodman to get an offensive rebound tonight. Rodman came up with 15 boards back on Saturday. Tonight he has only seven. There's Rodman showing his frustrations. The reason he's also frustrated is because they're allowing Kemp to pull and push and tug when the Bulls are on offense, but when Rodman's playing defense, they're not allowing him to do the same thing. So here's the technical foul. Double team. Doesn't matter. He grabbed his arm. Oh, no, he takes a shove at him. He grabbed, Askins grabbed his arm. And Dennis Rodman laughing with him. Yeah, Dennis says, no, we don't want to have anything here. We don't want to both miss big game salaries. Finland Shrimp called for the hold. Michael with the shot over the top. Here it is. Dennis inside. He grabs it. A fight. I already got a tee. Well, they saw what happened between two coach down low. Caffey fakes and fakes and puts it up. Couldn't get it. Off shrimp right there. Pulls lead. Oh, right. oh. Kemp just Kemp. elbows Dennis Rodman. Okay, coming out of floor. Kemp. They're, they're working hard, pushing and shoving. Yeah, and that's legal with these two guys. He pushes them off. They both push. Now he comes and bounces them. The fourth foul on Kemp, and uh, it's an offensive foul. Rodman puts his head down, goes to the basket, and he'll go to the line. That is Rodman. <laughs> He's having a ball here in South Bend. <laughs> Teammates getting that charge out of watching it. Of course, they didn't exactly make a laugh. They can't even look at it with a straight face. And He really wanted the ball. Into the corner, baseline shot, Randy Brown. Nope. Rebound tapped out. And Sean Kemp comes up oh, with it. Oh, 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 oh. And will pick up the foul. And Michael having a little word for Dennis, trying to calm him down. Dennis draws a foul. Hard work underneath. There's an elbow in it. And all over. All over. He put his nose right into the other. Yeah. Huh? Top, Gerald Wilkins for three. Oh. Rebound. Tap. Tap again. Mark Price fouled by Dennis Rodman. We got a timeout. 6.28 left in the third. The Bulls lead at 60 to 56. 14 on the shot clock coming up on a minute remaining. Price. Looking for the open. Goes down low. Cycle spins, goes up, and he got fouled. All to it on the side. Is that what Tommy Nunez just said? Dennis gets called for the foul. Flagrant foul. Two and on the side. Flagrant foul is what they call it. Right. Well, the Bulls took a lot of time off the clock, an awful lot of time off the clock. And here it is on the side. He's got it. He, he goes. Took a swing at the. He already had committed the foul, I think. Uh, the arm went out on the side, and then down he goes. So here's the two free throws. And that may be the nail into the Bulls' coffin. 97-93. Now he'll get one. Warriors have missed eight in a row. Scotty off the glass. Couldn't get it. Rodman it fights for the rebound. And got fouled. Ended up on the floor. <laughs> mad at nobody. He's mad at nobody. He gets Willis a little bit of a Way to go. He likes it. Oh, yeah, you're right. 
There he comes struggling out with the ball again. <laughs> <laughs> Scrapping it all the time. Here he comes up. <laughs> so Luke's going to sit down. Tony Dennis keeps tapping it. It's still loose. It goes out of bounds. Wizards ball. Dennis Rodman ended up with the photographers down there, and everybody's laughing. Dennis patted the one guy in the head and walked away. Just looks down and smiles. Double double Mike Tyson taken in the game this evening. Oh, Glenn Rice just about knocked, just about knocked that Dennis Rodman out of the game with that. And we got a timeout as he hits a long, long deuce, a minute three left. Hornets lead the Bulls by four. By Glenn Rice. Now he'll step behind on the screen. Watch the screen. Here it is. He just gives him a shoulder block. Dennis can't recover to it, and right steps behind the screen by Mason. Locks in a long two. Hornacek. Jazz have gone cold after their 9-0 run. Good ball movement. Oster tag confronted by Rodman in the foul. Coming up. <laughs> Rodman says, good play, Rook. Good play, big fellow. Three personals on Dennis. Did he get called for a team? Just a regular foul. They call it a technical foul. So Rodman, what is that? Uh, taunting or why? Why is that technical? So Rodman will send Ostertag to the line. Watch this. Here's the foul. No question there. It's what happens afterward, apparently. And let's just see. He gives him a whack on this side. No, that, that, I don't think that has anything to do with it. I think it was like a taunt. You look at it, and, and I think that's what they said, and Hornacek yeah. makes the free throw. Apparently, they got it for taunting of one form or another. We've got a break of the action. 2.26 to go in the third. Utah by four. over to the left side, John. Morris to Malone, knocked away by Rodman. Oh. Pippen ahead to Dennis. And the Bulls have tied the game at 94. Good conversion there by Pippen and Rodman on the steal on that last play. Let's see what happens here. Malone dropped into Dennis Rodman with a foul call. Dennis Rodman's uh, third foul. Make it his fourth. I'm sorry, they gave him a uh, technical before he so, To the line to try to break this tie with 219 with Carl Malone. Dennis can't handle the rebound. Hold the has it. And a foul committed by Rodman. Oh, he's throwing him out. He's throwing Rodman out. I think he called a flagrant on it. He had to take the foul. Bennett Salvador with a call. He's throwing him out. It's going to be two free throws. Dennis Rodman. And now Salvador talking with Phil Jackson. Dennis Rodman has apparently been thrown out of this game. I don't know if they call that a flagrant two, but uh, that's they're going to... There's your tee. And it's knocked in by Hornacek. His first point in this quarter, he's got 16. And it looks like the Bulls, unless they can come up with a miracle here, their 12-game start to this season will end here in Utah. Now here it is. They go over, and, and he reaches out to grab him. Oh, the extra right. push may have been okay. what he called. All right. Manny. Marley. And he was fouled by Rocco. Chicago to 63 points, the lowest total in the uh, Bulls franchise history. Trying to get the steal, 
You wonder the Bulls trying to return the favor. Only 54 points for Cleveland here in the fourth quarter with 9.20 remaining. Marley. And he was fouled by Rodman. Timeout is called. We'll be back in Cleveland in a moment. For Jordan. Along with 27 points. And the call against the Bulls. Offensive foul, that is Rodman. Offensive foul on Rodman, that is his third. And a lot of people may be surprised. There we have a technical foul. On the Dennis Rodman. Steve Javi calling the technical did not like the response from Rodman and Brandon will shoot the tee well, Dennis has had a couple technical fouls since the suspension but relatively the under control type not the wild clapping and uh, throwing of things and He's still being watched by the officials, no doubt. I'm in the locker room and get the players unedited. You got all these guys going to score, the strip joints, and naked women and things like that. That's all we were talking about yesterday. Uncensored. They say it like it is. Live in the locker room. In other years. Derek Cummings gets set to check in. Baker. Nice pass to Robinson, followed by Dennis Rodman. That's a good give and go. There's Jerry Cummings. Randolph Keyes will leave. Man coming down the lane gets the ball, and Rodman goes up to keep it from dunking. Well, they started off slow, but they've come back real strong here. Two guard and high, Tony and Michael. Two corner, Bill Wennington with the fake, comes inside underneath, had it knocked away. Dennis Rodman put it up, and he got oh. fouled. Robinson on foul, that's his second, I believe. Nope, I'm sorry, it's uh, Sherman Douglas. Bill drives the lane, he goes by Vin Baker. Baker thought he was going to take the outside shot, and it just hits off the rim. Dennis gets the rebound and tries to go back up, but he was fouled. Well, he said he was going to work on his free throw shoot. Yeah. Dennis hits that one. You see the rebounds, field goal percentage, and minutes 29th. Now 8 of 16 from the free throw line. He hasn't got an awful lot of minutes, and it's because the Bulls have, beat, have beaten teams big time. It's got to be a foul yeah. on Terry Cummings, and it is. Or is it on Ben? Is it on Terry? I think it should be on Cummings. We'll see. Yeah. De Dennis couldn't get loose the rebound, and uh, Terry Cummings, the old veteran from DePaul, ball is in the air, and can hold none. Yeah. <laughs> so Dennis took it. Yeah, they're in foul trouble here. Blackhawks play. Come the ball. Oh, then it's a moving screen. Yeah, it was a moving screen. He had to slow down. They're trying to get the technical now. Here it is. Dennis Reedy's wrong on his call because he ran down and did not stop. There's no question about it. It was a correct yeah. call made by the official. He's and we'll get a look at it again he's right trying now. To set, he's trying to set a screen for like a That's really not a, the best angle. But he was running right down the court with Steph. Now, the point is, you've got to give the man some room yes. to stop as you set the screen. Yep. So, even though Dennis looked like on that replay, he had stopped for a fraction of a second, he's got to give the guy a little more room than that when he stops. So, here you are. Matumbo, the rebound. Huddled up by Rodman. And finally, a foul on Dennis Rodman. It is his third personal. 
three on the team. Dennis trying to keep him from getting the outlet pass. Trying to just stay in front of him. Boy, I don't and know. There is more pushing at my dinner table than I saw there, Bob Delaney. He's, Absolutely. He's, he's frustrating him a little bit. Frustrating. There's no. Boy, <laughs> the contact, most of it, appeared to be initiated by Matumbo rather than Rodman. Delay game. Delay game delay. against the Bulls. And Dennis, Dennis comes down. off the floor. Hakeem Elijah on arrest. Mark Bryant is also on the floor. Well, Pete Chilcutt is probably a little bit better matchup for Tony Kukoc. Not as quick as Tony. Yeah, Tony's going to have to defend him on the ground. Look at Bryant for the offensive board. And that is not one of Houston's strengths. No, it's not one of Houston's strengths, but Mark Bryant, it is one of his strengths. You know, Rudy loves guys that have played in the CBA, guys that have played, paid their dues in the NBA, guys that are hungry to play. Mark Bryant sat behind Buck Williams in Portland for five years, didn't get a lot of playing time, and Mark is hungry to prove that he is a legitimate player. Dennis Rodman gets the foul, and then a technical foul. Well, is Dennis still leading the league, Vern? Uh, let's see. No ejections, right? Or one ejection. One ejection. Right. Well, he's way behind the pace of a couple of years ago when he had 35 of them. Well, it's early, Vern. <laughs> it's early. Oh, well, there are a couple of Dallas guys. Rodman and Jimmy Clark. A couple of generation, a generation apart. But Rodman. Rodman, who went to high school in Dallas, and Jimmy Clark, the official. Two-man game with Michael. And a third consecutive miss for Jordan Klein. Rejected by Prime Comfort 2. But that play was by Dennis Rodman. Joe Klein got the rebound because Dennis Rodman cleared out the entire team on Miami under the basket. And you can see him with more antics. <laughs> antics is a great word to use. <laughs> and then Klein shows Rodman a such an A. Shape up. Down the stretch. He may be disinterested now. He may be skipping practices now. But... It's like Miami has a chance. They missed two threes to cut it to seven. Here, another layup. Robin blocks the shot every time Chicago has answered so far. Scotty hits right there. Robin, further conversation with Steve Jabby, and Morning is right there, too. And here's exactly what Riley was talking about. And there's Robin trying to get right at Morning. And there's some of the control that Morning is now exhibiting that Riley is so pleased with. But you know deep down, a lot of the Morning is thinking, <laughs> if I was only in an alley alone with Dennis Rodman. I just need two punches. Just, just two. <laughs> oh, one minute. <laughs> He does the little things for this team. This third quarter has been as zigzag uh, routing as you're going to find. Where uh, the Bulls have been on top by 18, then 15, and then, then it was 7, and now it's 8, and then it was 12. Now it's back up to 13 again. I mean, they've just been all over the place as Rodman will leave until Jackson is getting him out for a reason. Yeah. When he walked by the bench, you can see Tex Winters saying, Hold it up, Dennis. Calm down a little bit. They want him in the fourth quarter. He forgets sometimes that he already has a technical. For the game, and Chicago sails into the fourth on top. 81-65. Rodman and to Kukoc and for more on Dennis Rodman. Let's quickly check in with Craig Sager. When Dennis was on the bench, he told the training staff that he had a stinger in his left shoulder. He received a massage and apparently said it was nothing serious. That's why he went back in. Third for three. Well, he's, not, he's not lifting that shoulder up to rebound. He's almost rebounding one-handed. Yeah, and, and obviously well, one arm. He's a great rebounder, but he's not that good. <laughs> but even with one arm tied behind his back, he's still not there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's got eight rebounds tonight. He's usually in double digits. Robin looking for his seventh rebounding title. Morning for Murdoch in a foul. Uh -oh. <laughs> Morning. Giggling as he goes the other way. 
And Morton gets the laugh right there, and he likes that. And let's take a look here. Been a lot of little cheap shots from both guys tonight. And cheap shots is nothing wrong with you can get away with it. Let's see who does it that time. Oh, man, a couple of couple shots to the yeah. midsection. Sometimes you wonder when these two guys play, when the basketball game's going to start. <laughs> Four on Rodman. Well, it just well. goes to show you. Uh, Scotty Pippen is now only 5 of 16. And Dick Rivetta calling the foul on Dennis Rodman. Rodman overly aggressive in hounding O'Neal. Well, this is normally when Dennis Rodman tries to entice somebody to throw an elbow at him and thinking there by putting... The clock winding down, goes to Miller outside, the clock is at one, and there's contact. Rodman bumped Miller, Miller shoved him, Mike Mathis calls a technical foul on Reggie Miller. I like the way, George, uh, that Dennis Rodman responded. He responded by walking away. You see a situation where right at the end of the shot clock now, and Reggie Miller goes over and pump fakes. Well, uh, Robin got caught. But uh, Reggie Miller got upset and, pu and, and pushed Dennis Rod. Indiana missed it to Lambeer. Way up to Isaiah, bouncing for Dumars. To Rodman, and he is knocked down by Reggie Miller. A nasty elbow. Got up off the deck, but then smiled. Dumars got it to Rodman, and Reggie Miller with as hard a foul as there's been in the series. George, I'm going to tell you one thing. There's a Rodman the rebound, and he goes for the shot. And he gets slapped in the head by Reed. He doesn't. He's just walking away, talking to himself. So Reed picks up him. Is that his third foul? That's his third and fifth on the team. There he goes. He gets the ball. Now he knows he's in close to traffic. If he can just jump up, Dennis he may get. <laughs> Dennis. No, he missed it. A tap in though by Mike Brown, and Robin and Brown get tangled up. David Jones says, let's cool it. And Mike Brown. Ewing. Ah! Yes! And the tip is good. And Rodman slapped the ball into the stands. And he that may... could be a technical if so. He may be gone. He is, uh, yes. It will be all over. Let's see. No, oh, they call it delay. Delay of game. Well, it is a technical foul on the team, but I think uh, Dennis Rodman was fortunate that he did not uh, get a technical assess on him personally. But but it, but if he did, <laughs> discussing it, all right. Well, it, this isn't a friendly chat, as far as I know, until Rodman uh, breaks out with a smile. Now, Pat, uh, I, I think Pat is handling it in playful fashion. But you know, Marv, had Rodman been tossed. It would have been the fourth time to 24 given to the uh, Spurs. Here's Ellis. Knicks now lead 25, 15. And a technical foul. Oakley and Rodman pushing and shoving, and Rodman drew the technical foul, as did uh, Charles Oakley. We'll take another look at it. Both players going at it. Rodman with a severe shove there at the end of the move. The whistle was blown. Edwards in a battle with Mikhail. James Edwards certainly getting the shot opportunities early. Dennis Rodman in a collision with Larry Bird. And uh, they both landed in the first row. And As the shot goes up, check the battle out underneath. A headbutt, double arm wraparound, and a takedown trip by Dennis Rodman to Larry Bird. Are uh, they working hard out here to come up with the basketball, I'd say. Isaiah Thomas was called for that foul. Benny Johnson getting set to come on. And Bryant. Again, Detroit, back to the motion game, passing game offense. Sally, 12 for Sally. And the Celtics lead 68-51.
Well, Rodman and uh, Pinckney had some words as they came together. Well, you got guys working hard on the glass as the shot goes up by Sally. They're both hooked into each other's arm, just trying to get free. That's all I'm trying to do. Right. Brown lost it. Dubars putting the move on Shaw. Pistons looking for any kind of positive to get going. And now words once again between Pickney and Rodman. A timeout called by the Celtics. Detroit looking for anything to get this crowd into it, to get the team alive. Dennis Rodman working. A little elbow there to Pickney. Pickney's not going to take the elbow. He's going to come back at him and hold his ground. They've called a double technical on Rodman and Pickney. We'll be right back. And they're both hanging in there. Check the right elbow out right there into Pickney's chest. This crowd attempting to get the home club back. I think we're better. He says, you haven't seen this move before? I think we've better seen every move, but there are always some new ones. Weber and Rodman going at it. Well, I, and you know what? I'll tell you what. I, Chris Weber has a legitimate complaint because Rodman continued to pound him and pound him in the back, and that was totally unnecessary. Now, you say, why did he do it? Because Weber lit him up early in that first quarter and took him time and time. See, now just watch. See, you're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to lead. Now, do you notice the leg? See that leg go down inside? Then extra roughness as they spin out of there. Dennis Rodman totally at fault in this situation, and the referee's got to jump on that right away. And right now, uh, Rodman looking up uh, and seeing the exact replay that you're seeing right now. A technical foul has been called against Chris Weber. Oh, well, I'll tell you right now, if I'm Chris Weber, I'll gladly pay the fine because there's no way that I'm going to allow a guy to play me like that. And you saw the leg go right in there as he lifted up with the forearms. The leg went right in there to nail him, and you can't do that. Derek Harper makes good on the technical foul, and this is why Weber got upset to the extent that he got the tee. Now keep an eye on this. You're going to see him. See him lock the arm. He locked the arm, and then the leg went right in, knee to thigh. Then as he grabbed them, Chris Weber's trying to swing him off of there, and I agree with Weber 100%. Now Weber immediately gets the ball back down low. Go right back to Against him. Rodman, and they That's do go it. back to him. Debots right. isolated with the Rodman goes in and gets the bucket. And that time, and I don't think it's over yet between those two. Now, you know what? He fouled him again. And you know what's sad? They didn't call a foul. And, and that, that, to me, is ridiculous. He, he pulled them, and he lost his balance, and he was able to still finish the play. 11 points for Chris Weber to lead the Kings. There and there you see the scoring. The As the Lakers with a 16-point lead. Harper going down and missing, and Rodman tries to tip it in, and a loose ball foul called against... Dennis Rodman, I believe. Yeah, Rodman. And that'll be his third. Rodman over the back catches Divac right in the head. Kings have fallen behind so many times this year and then have made a big run. And that's been their story as the Lakers story. Here's that foul again. Now there it is right there. And he, he caught him with his left, left, left area. He caught him right on top of the head. You can see it right there as Divac's turned around. A technical foul in addition called on Dennis Rodman. Well, he's out of control here right now. Okay, he, he has had maybe a productive game in rebounding, but the rest of his game has been totally out of whack. He went right to the referee over on the side and blasted him. Now, Dick, the Sacramento team, 27th, uh, 28th in the league in free throw shooting, 66%. And it's kind of hurt them tonight. It has. Uh, the Kings are 4 for 10 from the free throw line. Rodman, who has three personals, and a technical goes out of the game. Uh, Dennis starting his first game in a Lakers uniform after coming off the bench since he was signed by the Lakers. He has six rebounds in the game. Debots. Jordan. 
Er tut und macht und ackert. Und es gibt tatsächlich Ballbesitz für die Chicago Bulls. Also man kann da auch Foulspiel pfeifen. Ja, das wird auch gepfiffen gegen John Hotwood Williams beim Rebound. Obwohl das ist eigentlich lächerlich, denn Rodman war da genauso drin verwickelt. Aber er weiß ja, wie man sich durchsetzt. Dennis Rodman noch eine ganz interessante Taktik. Rodman beim Rebound, er sagt nämlich, ich block nicht unbedingt aus, sondern ich schubse die Leute unter den Korb, direkt unter den Korb. Denn da kriegen sie den Ball auf keinen Fall, denn jeder Rebound prallte vom Korb ab. Jugador importante como ven de hacer John Sally, que acaba de conseguir dos canastras consecutivas. Y e ahí está Dennis Rodman, impresionante Rodman, como siempre. Anote va esa línea de tiros libres. Dennis Rodman. Suponemos que habría falta. Qué bonita asistencia de Marca Aguirre. El típico gesto de Dennis Rodman para festejar a sus canastras. Ahí está, efectivamente. Una línea de tiros. Convertiendo también tiro libre. Seguro que está ya en dobles figuras en este partido. Dennis Rodman. Un partido de que vamos a entrar en los dos últimos minutos. John Bagley. Partido totalmente abierto. Reggie Lewis busca a Kevin Mahey. Con él está Dennis Rodman a falta de Dennis Rodman. Enfrentamiento Rodman Mahey. Muy veterano Mahey. Bueno, eh, aplaude Dennis Rodman. Pita a, a técnica a Kevin Mahey. Habría que ver la repetición. La técnica solventa se con ese tiro convertido por Joe Dumars. Ahora irá a esa acción anterior. Algo yo debo decir efectivamente. Bueno, algo yo he dicho seguro. Queríamos decir que algo yo debo decir, pues bueno, ofensivo Kevin McHale a Dennis Rodman. Eddie Rush is just screaming at Phil Jackson. I heard about Phil really upset fighting for his player. Here he comes. Phil has just been tossed. Phil has just been tossed. And he is reading the riot act to Rush. It's not going to make any difference. Phil's going to have to hit the showers. But defending his player, what he's saying is he came back. And here's what happened at the end. You didn't see Dennis. Dennis comes in for the rebound and runs into him. And that was the technical foul. What you didn't see was why Dennis ended up on the floor. And now Alonzo comes up and pushes Dennis. And again, that's what led to Phil Jackson being. Watch the left side of your screen now. There's Dennis. Oh, and there is that was, the, that was the, the play, right? That, that's what got morning open underneath. That's why Dennis was really upset. All right, Bulls take a timeout. 8.40 left in the third. Miami leads at 58.45. Ladies and gentlemen, Simon Foul. Pat Riley with Dennis Rodman right next to him. <laughs> We could get along, you know what? 
Those two probably could. Dupere comes around the screen. The jump of the speed. No good. Dennis tapped it. Kept it alive. Tapped it again and put it in. And a foul. A technical foul on D.J. Brown. A technical foul has been called on the Heat's D.J. Brown. Oh, Dennis taps once, taps twice. One time, he's inside. Taps it again. Gets so up. Eric Murdoch back in the game. And you can see what's made of that. He got hit in the back by Dennis. P.J. Brown gets that technical. P.J. Brown, remember what happened against the Knicks when he upended, was it Chris Child? And, oh, yeah, last year in the playoffs. Suspended a bunch of guys for leaving the bench, and the Knicks thought the devil was going to be their chance to do it. P.J. Brown gets into the corner for Mashburn. Mashburn comes right into the lane, put it up, no, nope, rebound, out of bounds, we'll go to the ball. <laughs> Dennis, Dennis and P.J. Brown walking side by side after their resident bad boy just came back. Is Dennis Rodman stretched too thin? How does Michael Jordan figure in this issue? We'll talk when this week in the NBA returns. Stay with us. Look on the Hornets, and here came Rodman again. Would he behave? Well, watch off the Glenn Rice miss. Long rebound, always in position. One of 23 he would snag on the night. Watch Rodman banging down low. Hard fall, near scuffle. He keeps his cool. No harm, no fall. Because Jordan has tried to talk to Rodman. He was worried about Rodman's focus long before that tirade last week. Um, but Rodman has, really hasn't been very receptive to those talks. That's why you've seen Jordan come out and say some things in the press, kind of trying to challenge Rodman to, uh, to get that intensity back that he had last year. Um, it's anybody's guess, really, as to whether Jordan's going to be able to get Rodman back on the right track. Um, but I know that there are a lot of teams around the league who's, who are hoping that Jordan won't be able to do it. Now, while most of the Bulls worried about the noise, Dennis Rodman was concerning himself yeah, with religion. I call them some of them. That's fair. Maybe I don't know some of the Mormon people. Mormon people here don't like me either, right? Oh, that's a given. That's a given, right? So what the hell? If I knew it was a, like a religious type deal, uh, I would never say this, you know. I'm, I'm sorry about that, you know. People want to come to the game and see controversy. They want to see something different. You know, I have no problem with that, that I'm like the oddball. I have a pissed navel, I have colored hair, I got tattoos, I got this and I got that. But it doesn't change the way I am inside. You know, I don't want no publicity. I don't want to be a superstar. I don't want to be a star. I want to go out there and get my nose broken. I want to go out there and get cut. I want to do this. I want to do that. Something that's going to really just, just bring out the, the hurt, the pain. I want to feel that. I want to feel like that I'm a dish digger going out there working my ass off for 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day, going home and eating and saying, God, God, it was a great day. The heart is there. The desire, the will, the determination, the drive, to drive. Don't give up. For no reason. I hear a lot of players, I hear it. They said, man, don't you ever stop. To just take a break. No, man. I'm going to kick your butt. People say that Dennis Rodman doesn't just march to a different drummer. He marched to a whole different band. Yeah, I don't march to Frank Sinatra, uh, Diana Ross. I sit there and I meditate to Pearl Jam. The Rodman worms his way into the hearts of the home crowd. Some NBA players find Dennis is the menace. Whoa, whoa, Dennis! Dennis! Run your way out of that! When I'm on the court, I have no, there's no one else. It's just me and my intensity. I fight that, but I don't lash out on any other players. If it happens, it just means I had a bad day. But if David Stern says to you, Dennis, can you promise me you're not going to have any more bad days. What are you going to say? Well, I'm going to say, first of all, don't treat me like a kid. I'm not your son. You're not my father. Hey, I am the man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the man.